Now the popular question we receive very often is, Dr. Coz, what is a good carbon monoxide level? What is a good carbon monoxide level? The answer is very easy. It's zero, folks. Zero parts per million. Now, why do you say that, Dr. Coz? I want a certain threshold, a specific point. Check it out, folks. Now, if you do have a carbon monoxide detector and it's reading, let's say, 10 parts per million, is that good, Dr. Coz? For some people, it may not affect them. For some people, it may affect them. And how do you know that 10 ppm won't climb up to 100 within 30 seconds? That's the point, folks. The point is the following. If you have a small leak in your piping, in your home, drip, drip, drip. You know it's only a matter of time before that gushes are open and it causes a big problem. So it has to be addressed as early as possible. That's the same with a carbon monoxide or a carbon monoxide leak. If you're detecting carbon monoxide at a very small amount, it's only a matter of time before that increases and can cause severe health concerns or possibly death. So the point is the following, number one, you need zero parts per million showing up on any carbon monoxide detector that you have, be it a carbon monoxide detector on your wall, be it a handheld carbon monoxide detector that you're doing ambient measurements or indoor measurements, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you are registering carbon monoxide and you have a detector, these guys alarm at 70 parts per million over 60 minutes. So you will get an alarm and 70 parts per million is quite high. It's actually above the OSHA, the OSHA occupational safety limits, which is 50 parts per million. And it's even above the California OSHA limit, which are 35 parts per million. So you get where I'm going with this, folks. Different governments, different associations, and different states have different thresholds. And depending on the situation you're in. So the point is the following. I'm gonna drive this home very strongly. You're looking for zero parts per million. Anything above zero parts per million is of major concern and it has to be dealt with. You have to understand where it's coming from and you have to abate it. You have to reduce it to zero. That's my professional advice. I hope you're well. Be safe and see you soon.